Hensel Phelps uh, has a slightly different approach to how we go about uh, engaging our partners, our design and construction partners. Uh, we teach that uh, interpersonal relationships are extremely important and having respect for our design partners is, is, is the way to achieve the best uh, outcomes for the owner in both quality and cost and schedule. So we, we teach that to our people and, and we give them the tools that they need to, to inter, engage the design team and to, and to show that respect and understanding of the process. During pre-construction, my primary role will be to help engage early with the designers uh, to give them constructability towards building the model. Along with that, we'll be developing the BIM execution plan, which will create a roadmap for the rest of the project as far as what we need to do with the model and push it towards final delivery. BIM is becoming to a point uh, a whole lot of management of data. You know, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's all ones and zeros. And with the owners, what value is it at the end of the day if we give them a model? Uh, we're quickly learning that with, within this model, we're able to capture uh, equipment information, uh, like warranty dates, uh, you know, uh, wiring diagrams, anything that would be of value to the owner at the end of the day to manage their facility, because that's where the uh, cost savings is most beneficial to the owner. Through this process, we're able to build a prototype in the computer, coordinate with our systems in there uh, inside the computer, and if we have to move objects, it's a lot easier to move it inside the machine than it is in the field, and therefore reducing costs and you know, increasing schedule, it's a, of a huge value to us to coordinate inside the, uh, the machine. Pushing towards the uh, CD stage of the project, uh, we will at that time inherit the model from the designers and uh, through the construction cycle we will continue to update the model and make sure that uh, everything that we're placing in the field is captured inside the model uh, along with pertinent information uh, that's important to the owner like serviceable equipment and uh, with that towards 6D which again is the facilities and operations maintenance where you know, the premise is a, a, a facilities manager can walk into a building, uh, walk into a room, scan a piece of equipment, and everything that's pertinent to that piece of equipment comes up from warranty information to submittals to RFIs to, to wiring diagrams. One of the uh, additional uh, uh, things that we provide, I think we bring to the table, is uh, uh, collaborating with the engineering team and the uh, sustainability consultants and looking at life cycle costs. And, and we do this on a, on a number of different levels. We'll do this at looking at the different, the different types of mechanical systems that are going to be proposed. We're going to look at the, the use and rates that are give, uh, proposed for a given area. And we're going to look at um, you know, total cost of ownership. So it's not just, you know, it's going to be life cycle, but it's really going to be, the end game is going to be the uh, total cost of ownership. We understand owners are really concerned about their operational costs. So it's not only just the, the longevity of a system, it's really going to be the operation of that system. As Director of uh, Mechanical Construction at Hensel Phelps, uh, my role is broken up into three areas. Uh, the first one would be pre-construction. And in that role, I'm involved with projects around the country, typically large, complicated procurements that we're going after. The second part of my uh, role is in training for our company, a lot of our area superintendents, uh, the new people that come to work at our company, and uh, I'm showing them how mechanical systems work so they understand when they get onto these larger projects what the, they need to be looking for. Uh, and then the third part is working on more of a, a quality control function with uh, our projects. If some of our superintendents or project managers have a, uh, a problem on a project, I might be called in to, to help them through that problem, see if we can solve the problems. Paper doesn't build buildings, people build buildings. And, and people's, the ability for people to succeed is built on relationships and, and behavior. And that's what we do at Hensel Phelps. We build relationships and we build buildings.